In this video, I have to make the difficult decision of choosing three current favorite handbags from my collection plus two favorite handbags from someone else's collection. Yes, it's my first collab video, so I'm really excited. Be sure to watch and find out my picks. Hi everyone, my name is Marie, aka I am back happy. I'm a luxury lover based in the Philippines and welcome to my channel. Before we begin, if you love designer handbags, luxury collection videos, comparisons, reviews, and anything and everything related to Pinoy luxury shopping, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join my community of bag happy luxury lovers. This video is in collaboration with Ron Ramiro of the channel Ramirify. Hello to everyone who came over here from watching Ron's video. We both recently hit a milestone of passing 500 subscribers. Again, thank you so much to everyone for the support. And so in celebration of that, we decided to do this collab. Ron is a Filipino designer and a fellow luxury lover. He dubs himself as the budget iron fashionista. So if you love shopping vlogs, styling tips, and in-depth bag reviews, do check out his channel and subscribe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my five current favorite handbags. I'll pick one from mine, then one from Ron's collection, and so on. Uh, it was honestly difficult to narrow down my choices for my collection because most of my bags are really different from each other. They have their own look, they have their own function, but in the spirit of sharing, I had to pick three, and these are the three. Can you guess what they are? Please feel free to comment down below before moving on. I have to say they're in no particular order, so let's start with a favorite bag for my collection, and let's open it up. I'm referring to the Lueve puzzle bag. The Lueve puzzle bag, medium size in the tan color. I've had this bag for over three years now. It's my very first high-end luxury bag, so it's got a lot of memories attached to it. It's also gotten quite a bit of use since then. Uh, I've used it for travel, I use it for work. It fits a lot of things. It's really versatile, the color is gorgeous. The leather is also really luxurious and durable. As you can see, it's three years old, but it still looks beautiful. Most importantly, the design is absolutely unique, understated, and classic. Uh, I did a very in-depth review on this bag, so I will no longer dwell on it. Just feel free to watch that video. Uh, it's still one of my favorite bags in my collection. Definitely a forever piece that I would always recommend to anyone who asks. There you have it, the Lueve puzzle bag. For the second bag, I'm going to talk about my first pick from Ron's collection, and that is the Louis Vuitton Papillon bag in epi leather. Um, I am not a big fan of the epi leather, but I'm going to make an exception with this one because I love the shape of the Papillon bag. My Dior roller bag is actually a similar cylindrical shape. Uh, I also love the little pouch that goes with it. I just feel like epi leather works with this type of style since it allows the bag to remain structured. It is also deceptively small in size, but I bet it can fit a ton of stuff. Also, given the simplicity of the design, you can even accessorize the bag to increase its versatility. I believe it's a discontinued piece, so if you want something like this, you may have to go the pre-loved route. I just think it's a classic silhouette that will never go out of style and can definitely change with your vibe depending on how you carry it. I think people in their 20s can use this bag. Uh, people in their 40s or 50s can rock this bag, no problem. I really like this, the Louis Vuitton Papillon bag. Going back to my collection, my next pick is over here in this bag and um, yeah, I'm just gonna reveal it. You probably guessed it anyway. My next pick is my Fendi baguette. This is in the medium size, white color, and made of soft napple leather. If you've been following me for a while, you're probably tired of hearing about this bag and seeing this bag all over my social media, but I really, I can't help it. I just really love this bag so, so much. I just feel so chic whenever I carry it. It's both stylish and functional. It's really underrated and so uncommon that I kind of feel special whenever I use it. There's no doubt this bag just serves me well as a bag 
bag and as a statement piece. It's a favorite and has been one of my favorites since I bought it. I love staring at it. I love using it. I love touching it. Um, it's made me a Fendi fan ever since and I have my eye on a peekaboo in the next few years. So I'm crossing my fingers for that one. There, the Fendi baguette. The next favorite I'm discussing is my second pick from Ron's collection, and it's another Fendi piece. Uh, I believe it's called the Micro Baguette. I think this particular style of baguette is discontinued, but this bag has all the classic elements that remind me so much of my own baguette. Uh, whenever I see it on Ron's feed, it just stands out and I instantly fall in love all over again. Uh, it's also in a gorgeous blue color, which is again my favorite. I honestly don't think it's a practical bag. I just think it's simply cute. That's it. My second favorite from Ron's collection. We're now on the fifth and last bag, and at first, I honestly wanted to cheat and feature my collection of Chanel bags, so that's one clue. This is a Chanel bag, but fine, I'll pick one, and right now, I choose my vintage Chanel Diana bag. Ay! Paliktad! <laughs> So here you go, my vintage Chanel Diana bag. This is in the small size, lambskin leather, black color. I picked this one because I think it's honestly one of my best finds in my collection, not just my Chanel collection, but my entire handbag collection. Uh, this particular style is discontinued and it's so hard to find nowadays at a good price point. It's different from the classic flap bag but it still has a classic feel to it uh, i also think the small is a really good size uh, being a vintage piece it also has this gorgeous 24k gold hardware um, it's not a double flap as you can see it's single flap so it can fit a decent amount of stuff in it it also makes it lighter compared to the classic flap since it's only single flap as a bonus, I can even wear this crossbody. Uh, it's a little higher than what I'm usually used to, but it sits on my hips, so that's just the right length. So since I can wear this crossbody, it can pretty much transition from formal to casual quite easily. I know a lot of people are clamoring for this bag and it's now going for a premium, premium price in the vintage luxury market. I consider myself lucky to have snagged this piece at the right time. I sort of think of it as my lucky bag. I've really enjoyed using it and I honestly can't imagine selling this bag. It's currently my favorite Chanel bag and hands down one of my top three favorite bags in my collection. There you have it, my five current favorite bags, three from my collection plus two from Ron's collection. Be sure to check out Ron's video on this topic in his channel Ramirify. I will link to it in the description box below. Thank you so much again, Ron, for doing this collab with me. Please subscribe to Ramirify and I am Bag Happy. Let's support Pinoy Lux channels and grow our community. Please comment down below if you have any particular favorites from my handbag collection. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so so much for watching. Until next time, keep loving luxury and stay bag happy. Salamat.